I said before, I'm from Manchester. Uh, my mum and dad currently stay there. Uh, my mum was born and raised in Binang, and my dad uh, back in England. Um, I still have family in Penang and Kuala Lumpur too, um, but mum and dad back there. Uh, this is my fifth year now. So obviously I started in Johor, then Malacca. I'm just working my way up the west coast. I'm next year Kelantan, so we'll see. Typical day, to be honest, it's quite boring. Trying to stay professional when, uh, when in season. Uh, I sleep quite late and get up quite late as well and relax and just try and, I, I love sleeping, so I sleep as much as possible. Then usually just go to a coffee shop, relax la, and after that, makan, sikit, and then training, and then makan again. It's very, very boring, but um, yeah, off season, I give you a very different answer. Good things? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say good thing, now the beaches. Uh, beaches are very good. Um, I've not really had much chance to go um, Jalan Jalan in Malaysia yet, but um, yeah, I love the beaches and um, being honest here, the biggest thing is Kuala Lumpur Airport because it's so cheap to fly out anywhere in Southeast Asia. So I love the the flight, the short flights to Bali. And I'm, I'm giving you the wrong impression here, but I love the, the fact that you can travel and explore the world as well from Kuala Lumpur. Uh, people who are hard work. That's when I need to put too much effort into, um, how do I put it nicely? Just people who you have to make an effort with, you know, when you meet them and um, I prefer just tranquil or relaxed people and you can just talk and talk on the same level instead of having to make an effort to speak to people. Um, obviously getting a call up for the national team was amazing, but I think the moment, my favourite moment probably would be my mum and dad came to a game when I played for Malacca against Salango and I scored a last minute winner for Malacca to win 3-2 and with my mum and dad there um, that was probably, you know, they went crazy and then yeah but with my mum and dad there that was a really really nice moment for our family. But, uh, obviously the weather, but well, the culture as well. Culture is so so different. Um, obviously, the Western culture is a massive contrast to the culture over here. And I think I don't know. I think my, the life in Manchester is a bit more um, stressful. Maybe here's a lot more laid back. And you know, you know, there's like if you get delivery, they say they come at ten o'clock, they come at twelve o'clock. You know, there's always Malaysian time compared to British time. It's very very different. So. I say that's the biggest difference, just you can, it's a lot more laid back lifestyle here. Um, I miss, I miss going to the football. I, I miss, I do miss the cold weather too. And I miss, you do miss home as well. Because it's the simple things like just walking through, through the town centre on a cold day, it's nice just to, because this is where I'm from. And um, it, that, that really connects you to, um, to home. So. Yeah, sometimes you do get, for instance, when I went back in November, um, it's really, really nice to go home and see family and see your friends. Um, but we're here for work and um, you can't dwell on kind of the emotions too much. I love to, I love to travel. I love to go and experience new cultures, how cliche it sounds, but I got the chance to go to, I went to Brazil in November and then since I've been playing football I've had the chances to go to different places, Colombia, Caribbean and it's really, it's afforded me, a, um, football has allowed me to kind of have that bit more freedom and travel and enjoy my life. I suppose it's a culture in the UK, um, but my dad, he's a lifelong Manchester United fan, went to the games through the 60s and 70s and it was never really uh, an option for me not to play football, but gradually I grew to love the game and since then it's, um, yeah, it's, it's been okay, I suppose. But yeah, it's no matter if you live in the UK and go up in the UK, you play football at some point and, um, and you play a school in the 
with your friends in the park and all that. So yeah, it's just been, it's just the lifestyle, the culture. Uh, Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand. I used to love watching him. Watching him, and especially the partnership he had with Vidic. Um, that was that was something next level. Obviously, um, the likes of Maldini and those kind of greats. Being in Italy, didn't get to see them, but watching Rio um, every other week, uh, I learned a hell of a lot. Well, I tried to learn a hell of a lot from him. I used to do security. I used to do security when I was studying at university um, for three or four years. I worked at a concert venue in Manchester called the Manchester Apollo, and we used to have big, famous acts there. You know. Lady Gaga, Snoop Dogg, everything in between. And I used to do security at our concert venue. And that was also, I'd say, fact two, I used to have Bibotak. For, from about 16 to 23 years old, 22, 23, seven years, I had just skinhead. It's very different to this now, but yeah, I used to be Bibotak. And third one, I played the piano a bit. If that was interesting, I can play the piano a little bit. A long time since I did it. But um, yeah, I like my music. I'm learning some music. Um, so yeah. Success, being happy. Being happy. Um, sometimes, like I said, when I've come over here, it's been quite difficult with the change of culture and being out here alone. Um, but now, for me, I just want to enjoy my life and enjoy my experience over here because I feel not only is that important for me as a person, but it's when I play my best football too. I hope, I hope he'd be proud. I hope he'd think that he's uh, made the most of the time since then. Um, yeah, I think, I think he'd be happy because it's, all, like, it's always been my dream to play professional football. And obviously in the UK, there's a lot of, a lot of competition. Um, so I suppose, Having the dual experience of going and travelling and as well as that, uh, playing football and experiencing playing in front of amazing fans in amazing stadiums, I think um, I think he'd be pretty uh, chuffed. But I would also like to say thank you to everyone at Salango, first of all for giving me this opportunity um, and also for being so warm and welcoming too. And that goes down from the players to the fans, um, to everyone involved, it's really been a warm welcome and I hope, uh, like I said, this is, it's been a combination of, a, of four years hard work to get to this club and I hope, uh, I hope I can do you justice and I'll do my best and then we'll see what happens. Thank you though.